During the Paralympics, I was a games maker, yes, the ones with the purple uniform and high fives, uh, and this is uh, how I got on. Okay, so back from day one of um, volunteering as a games maker on the Paralympics, and um, it was all go on the info point at Orbit Circus, which is where I've been based today, uh, to get up at 3.15 this morning uh, to uh, have a uh, very first train into London. It was quite funny, as the closer you got to uh, the Olympic Park, uh, the more and more games makers there were on the trains and uh, the tubes. In fact, uh, the last train we got in, it was virtually all games makers. Um, so, um, interesting array of questions, and we managed as well to reunite somebody with the tickets that they left in the info point, um, which uh, was very good, otherwise they wouldn't have been seeing the athletics on Sunday. So, uh, let's see what we get tomorrow. Oh, I'm back from day two at the uh, Olympic Park. Uh, today was the day that everybody seemed to lose everybody else. It was nice and quiet up to about mid-morning, then it just went completely uh, mad with uh, various people getting lost, uh, being found and brought to the information point, some distress, some less so, uh, and uh, lots of lost property, um, uh, together with uh, lots of uh, questions ranging from uh, where can I get a water taxi to uh, where is the cable car in the park. The reason one actually they were referring to the one that goes to uh, uh, the North Greenwich from uh, Royal Victoria um, and um, generally very rushed. I managed to get my lunch at uh, three o'clock uh, just as well I had uh, a decent breakfast to keep me going. Um, uh, oh, on the front of uh, people who were lost, uh, everybody got reunited in the end, which was good, uh, but it did create a lot of paperwork uh, that we had to deal with. Uh, uh, but uh, you've got to be uh, safe rather than sorry these days. And now back from day three of volunteering uh, on the Paralympics as games maker. Not quite as frenetic as yesterday, yeah, although it's still busy and over 100,000 people in the park. Uh, it was uh, only one lost person today. I was back working on the Orbit uh, Circus um, info point. Uh, still very frenetic though with lots of questions. In fact, at one point we had uh, a nice uh, long line of people uh, queued up um, to uh, uh, seek maps and ask questions about tickets etc in the park uh, and today we got our first gift it's so like I got, a, uh, got my first sort of uh, games maker pin uh, now looking at some of the other people who uh, have done the Olympics uh, they get uh, another two pins and um, also I got a sticker to stick on a piece of card that I've got uh, as part of my accreditation so I wonder what I will get when I can fill all that up with uh, stickers. We'll have to see. I wonder what day uh, four will bring. I'm just back now from day four at the Olympics. Um, I would like a shift where I never got a lost person. Uh, today was at the other end of the scale and we had a lost elderly lady. Um, not sure whether she was found or not because uh, it was right at the end of my shift so I'll have to find out uh, tomorrow if I can. Um, I also think that Transport for London does pad out the journey planner a little bit. Um, as today is Sunday, I had to get night buses to the park. So I put it in and it said, um, 
leave Barnet at um, quarter past three and you'll get to the Olympic Park at half past five, which is around about the time I need to check in. Uh, so I duly left Barnet at three o'clock. So I thought, well, that's not bad because you get, um, gives me about 15 minutes or so if the buses are uh, uh, not uh, that good with the connections. Um, I probably arrived at the park at 20 past four. So I had to have a cup of tea, um, a banana, and watch two strange uh, shows on uh, uh, nighttime television uh, before the check-in opened. So uh, next Sunday, which of course is my final shift and the final day of the Paralympics, I'll be um, uh, going to uh, go about an hour later. Uh, so I might arrive about 20 past 5 instead of 20 past 4. So, day 5 of uh, the Paralympic volunteering and I get a, a new pin. I got my bronze pin today. Uh, so, uh, when I will get a silver and gold apparently those two are coming and they uh, stuck another um, sticker on my card uh, for my uh, mystery gift which I will uh, get on Sunday. Uh, today I uh, won a ticket in the staff lottery uh, to uh, go and see a, uh, uh, an hour of the um, athletics in the stadium which was really good. So what happens is when somebody uh, returns a ticket that they don't need on the day, uh, there's no way that it can be resold in the park. Uh, so they put it into a lottery, uh, draw out staff members' names, and uh, uh, if you're not busy, you get released from your shift to go see it. So I was uh, uh, a bit of athletics. I saw a medal ceremony, uh, the final one of the long jump sessions, and. Uh, uh, somebody uh, win uh, in the um, gold uh, for the uh, one of the discus uh, throwing sessions, uh, some wheelchair and some uh, assisted uh, running for blind people. That was good. Uh, one lady who was uh, partially sighted uh, ran the entire uh, race without uh, uh, assistance. Uh, it was very brave. Uh, I don't think I could have even managed to go all round the. Uh, uh, the actual athletics track, um, uh, let alone do it uh, partially sighted. Um, and uh, we had, uh, I suppose, today's highlight. Uh, uh, we actually didn't have uh, too many lost people today. And um, we did have one lost person, but he actually knew where he wanted to get to, uh, which was the Paralympic Village, and it was the uh, uh, Dominican Republic's uh, trainer who'd managed to get separated in the um, in the park, uh, in the stadium, uh, from his party, uh, and he didn't know how to get there. So uh, after using the language tr uh, translation service, um, to find out what he was talking about because I don't speak Spanish. Uh, we uh, had him or I escorted him all the way to the uh, uh, the entrance for the, the accredited entrance for the Paralympic Village and uh, that took uh, to go there and come back via taking assisting in uh, taking a few photographs of people uh, and grabbing uh, a sandwich on the way uh, because it was past the staff canteen area. Um, I managed to take an hour to do that because uh, it's a very long way uh, and um, he did say thank you in the end because I understand gracias <laughs> so, and he seemed pleased and hopefully knew where he was going once he got into the Paralympic Village. Uh, so tomorrow is uh, my last stint uh, before I have a one day off. Um, so let's see what tomorrow brings. Uh, if you're wondering where uh, day six was, um, yesterday I actually had a day off. And today I got uh, uh, my silver McDonald's pen. Uh, so I just need my uh, gold one. 
quite sure when I'll get that. Probably have to do another couple of shifts for that. And uh, I got another sticker on my uh, mystery gift card. So I'll have to see on Sunday what my mystery gift is. Um, and uh, managed to go an entire shift this time without actually any lost or found people. Lots of lost and found uh, items though. Uh, people today seem to have been very careless with their belongings. Um, and uh, managed to reunite a few of them, uh, but uh, unsuccessful in uh, a few others. Uh, but however, there is still hope because uh, sometimes it takes a while to uh, log on to the, the computer system uh, if somebody has lost something. Uh, lots of ticket inquiries. In fact, I'm sure they could probably have sold double the number of tickets uh, for um, uh, these Paralympics. Uh, people still desperate to get hold of them. Um, so, um, off to bed shortly for another 5.15, sorry, 3.15. Uh, how can I really remember, forget what time I'm getting up? Yes, I get up at 3.15 in the morning um, for a quick cycle to the station uh, for the very first train. So we'll see what tomorrow brings. Maybe I'll get my gold pin. Richard. Uh, this morning uh, started off quite fun uh, as I go always go for the uh, very first train in the morning from New Barnet which is 4.28 and um, this morning it managed to be half an hour late so I ended up uh, getting the javelin train uh, which I'm going to have to do on Sunday which is good to that uh, However, uh, you don't have much time to drink your tea before you arrive actually in the uh, uh, Olympic Park. Um, lots of questions about uh, tickets still and why can't they have a ticket that allows them to go into all the other venues. Uh, lots of empty seats, why can't I get tickets for that. Oh, so lots of ticketing questions. Uh, and uh, lots of lost property. Uh, just managed to get to the end of the shift before we had some uh, lost children. And today it was school groups, so they were getting lost in twos and threes, which was wonderful. And um, it sort of started to quieten down on the information points. It's gone from absolutely manically busy to just busy. Uh, so hopefully it will uh, calm down a little bit. Uh, Sunday shouldn't be too bad because there's uh, only one event on uh, first thing in the morning which is football and then um, uh, there's uh, a little bit of uh, wheelchair rugby on in the afternoon and then it's the closing ceremony so it should be by comparison quite an easy day. Now whether that's famous last words. I also have my gold badge so I've now got the full set of badges and I just await my mystery gift on uh, Sunday on my final shift so until tomorrow I'll be back uh, no new badges, uh, so I've got my gold one yesterday. <laughs> I did a good one with some lost property earlier on. Um, we had a phone handed in and then uh, the phone rang. Uh, like uh, people sometimes do who've lost the phone, so I answered it and it wasn't the person who owned it or somebody who uh, was with the person who owned it uh, and um, he, the person on the other end said oh well I'll try and um, and get the person who uh, whose phone it is uh, I'll see if I can make contact with him and then shortly afterwards the phone rang again and it was a different person and I said and they said is um, the person who owned it there uh, I said no because it's all it's um, lost property is the information point. I said are you with them uh, because this other person said it and this person went no I'm a husband and I didn't know she was going to the Olympics. 
uh, and then later a, um, <laughs> a very flustered lady turned up who I think she wasn't supposed to be in the Olympic Park seeing the Olympics um, so it's probably going to have a little bit of explaining to do uh, when she gets home. Moral of story, <laughs> watch what you do with your mobile phone uh, and uh, keep, uh, keep it uh, very well secure. Oh, I also went up to the eye bit, it was very nice that, uh, not very good with heights but I still felt pretty safe up there. Uh, you get a good view into the stadium and uh, fantastic views all across the Olympic Park. Um, and um, it started to quieten down a little bit, um, uh, but uh, it probably won't tail off much until Sunday, because Sunday, uh, apart from the closing ceremony, uh, only got uh, two events on. Uh, so it's the last full day of events tomorrow, and um, uh, drawing to a close, my close is my Olympic volunteering, or Paralympic volunteering. Uh, so, uh, let's see what the next two days brings. So, just back from my uh, penultimate uh, shift at uh, the Olympic Park and uh, today was gift day, yes, I finally acquired um, enough stickers on my card, uh, got six of them and uh, the mystery gift was this, which is a baton, uh, so it's made of stainless steel, I don't know if you can read that, it says Games Makers Baton of the London 2012 Paralympic Games and um, it says uh, London 2012 I made it happen it's quite nice actually it's uh, apparently the same length and weight as a relay baton very cool actually um, I also got a couple of certificates I got a, uh, a thank you certificate yes, see there we are, thank you and I got a commemorative certificate uh, from uh, the International uh, Paralympic Committee um, and uh, we managed to get given one of the souvenir bottles of cork, uh, specially uh, done for the uh, uh, 2012 Olympics. Uh, quite a few of these were made. Um, I think I will drink the cork uh, later. And um, actually, um, keep a bottle because that'd be quite a nice little keepsake. So it's final shift tomorrow, and uh, we'll see how it goes. So today's shift uh, started to quieten down a bit, not a lot of uh, lost property. Uh, there's only two events on in the park tomorrow, uh, so it should be quite nice and quiet. Uh, it's uh, uh, the uh, football and uh, the uh, uh, wheelchair rugby tomorrow and of course it's the closing ceremony uh, park closes at 2 uh, then uh, it reopens again at 5.30 for the closing ceremony to which I am not going uh, because I have to be tucked up in bed again as I have to get enough sleep uh, and get my sleep back in this bag because it's back to work on Monday so see you tomorrow Right, it's over now, and um, I wouldn't miss it. It was a very good experience. Hard, but fun. Some nice people, had a good laugh at times. Um, but that's what you always want to be. Um, I will miss the um, little warm-up activity at the end of the morning briefing.
Pity we don't get that type of uh, thing when we uh, do our briefings at uh, uh, the roundhouse and at work. It uh, makes for a good, uh, good exercising um, way to start the day. So, question really is, would I actually do this again? Um, yes, I would. Uh, applied well over a year ago um, to go through interview and uh, and training, but it's worthwhile. Good experience. Um, I'm proud and part of it. Uh, the best ever Paralympics. Um, so yeah, and I would recommend if you ever get the chance to do something like this, definitely go and say uh, yes. I'm going to do it. Get the dog, get the dog, get the dog.